Hello YouTube, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and this is a, a re-review, as you can call it, for Xbox Smart Glass, for X, Xbox 360, Windows Phone, Windows 8, all the devices you can think of. And in this review, I'm truly going to take a look at it by actually showing my TV screen and showing the computer screen itself. So as you can see on the app itself, the app itself tells you where exactly I am under now playing. So under now playing it says I'm at the Xbox 360 dashboard and as you can see I am on the Xbox dashboard and then if we take a look further you can view up my most recent stuff that I've opened up you can see Internet Explorer's most recent one Halo 4 was the other one GTA 4 another one Borderlands 2 and then you can see other services that you can launch using Xbox Smart Glass to your Xbox and so on and so forth my music games videos and so on and so forth and little ads on the corners on the other side you can search Bing for little things uh, say Minecraft or Spider-Man or Game of Thrones or Linkin Park so what we're gonna do is I'm going to use Xbox Smart Glass to launch Internet Explorer in order to do that all you would have to do is actually just click Internet Explorer it'll bring up people who have recently used it in your friends list you can either explore the app or you can just play on Xbox 360. When you do that, you notice this happens over here. The TV screen shows, uh, loads up Internet Explorer. And this is the Internet Explorer for the Xbox 360. This is a smart glass experience for it. Uh, the cool thing that you can do with the smart glass experience is actually control the mouse cursor. Normally, you can just use the controller as I'm doing right now, but now I'm going to use the computer screen to actually. Uh, control the screen. So if I just do this, uh, say if I if I just, you actually have to have a touch screen to do this, or you can, uh, otherwise it won't work. Uh, but you can actually, if you you can just touch the screen, do this, scroll left and right. This this feature by itself is only for touch screens. You can't do it on a regular monitor. Uh, but if you decide to, if you decide to just say I'm launching. Let me launch The Verge. You can just tap the screen, or you can, or or you can just uh, use the Xbox and press A. I'm gonna tap the screen, and you can see what's gonna happen here. It's gonna launch The Verge. You're gonna notice the URL at the bottom of this Xbox Smart Glass screen changed to TheVerge.com. I never typed it in or anything. And then when we wait for it to load, it takes a little bit longer because it's not really you're not really supposed to be doing it. And now the Verge has loaded. And then we can also scroll down just by holding down on the screen and scrolling down just like this. It scrolls down on the Verge. You can scroll up. It's a little jittery, but it works the same way. And a cool feature that I really like is, say, if you wanted to launch Google, so Google.com. You can just type it in inside the Xbox Smart Glass thing, and it'll launch it on the um, Xbox itself. You can pinch to zoom out. You can pinch in to zoom in. You can, you know, go to the thing, pinch out. So stuff like that works. And then a cool thing that you can do is you can actually just tap the play here that you see right here. Tap play here. It plays it on the computer screen itself. And you can see it's launched to google.com straight from the Xbox. This is what the Xbox sees. And then if we want to just bring it back in, you know, launch Smart Glass again, it'll say it's connected, and then you're back to this experience. And that that's a cool feature for it. And then you can other see you can also see other remotes. Uh, this is the only remote for Internet Explorer. You can also hit switch, and you can switch between controller type of remote where you can, you know, press A, Y, X, B, and you tap a screen to select A, or you can just swipe to move the cursor around. And for the browser, obviously, Internet Explorer is the only browser. So in order to use Internet Explorer on your Smart Glass experience, you have to have the Smart Glass. You have to have the, um, the browser uh, part of it. Or you can also press this button here, and it takes you to the recent stuff that you saw on the Xbox. And then if you want to select stuff up here, you can do that with your finger on the screen. Or you can use your controller and do the same thing. So it's a cool little thing that they have. We press X to close. Uh, if we want to say, I have Halo 4. So if I want to launch Halo Floor, Halo 4, sorry, not Floor, uh, you can either, you can just hit Explore Game to explore more of the game, like your achievements and everything. Uh, you can see, you can free stats with Smart Glass. 
it's not an extra side download you can see your achievements or you can just hit play on Xbox 360 you can see it's changed it's starting to launch Halo 4 straight from Internet Explorer uh, it's going straight into Halo 4 without going to the dashboard first actually you know what it did go to the dashboard I lied uh, but you can see Halo 4 you actually do have to press A or you can use the smart glass experience to press A and Halo 4 and loads up they just automatically assume that you want to use the Halo 4 service record thing to view all your Halo 4 stuff but of course you don't have to do that you can also just view the regular Halo 4's uh, you can view Halo 4's regular experience which is um, their achievements and stuff but you know that's that's another that's on a side note and also if you want to close the app you can just hit close and it'll go back to the main smart glass experience so you can view through your Halo 4 service record. This is Halo Waypoint. It's not a separate app or anything. It's built into Smart Glass. You know, you can scroll up and down. It's a little jittery. I'm not sure if it's my computer or, uh, or it's just Microsoft's app. You can see I'm in it. And then when I swipe up, you can see Halo 4. If I tap Halo 4, it brings up the, the thing again. And then you can view Smart Glass by tapping it purchase little things for us by doing that you can also view the achievements just hit view achievements to view all the ex the halo 4 achievements and you can view what date you unlocked each achievement so if you look straight across you can view what date you unlocked is it each achievement so say uh, mission 8 on any difficulty I beat that achievement on 1110 so you get that and then if you scroll over some more I'm actually not sure why it's not working okay when you scroll over some more it shows you related games I just tap uh, A, it's Halo 4, and then if I swipe up from the bottom, and I don't want to be in Halo 4 anymore, you just hit the back button, you're back on the smart glass dashboard, and you could go over and see other things. So if I want to launch music, for instance, actually let's, let's launch videos, because videos and music will be essentially the same thing. So if I want to launch videos, for instance, Halo 4 shirt still on the computer screen. But when I when I tap anything here, it'll launch the uh, it'll launch whatever I decide to tap on. So if I want to do say the Men in Black 3 10 minute preview, I can explore the movie. I can buy the movie. I'm not sure why it's not letting me tap it. Let's hit view more. Just to view more information. There you go. Now it works. I can buy the movie if I just type in the password. See, it's loading up the uh, purchase. It's not actually a purchase. It's because it's free. So they just decide to make you go through that anyway on the Xbox Smart Glass experience. Uh, if I just press the Y button, you know, go back to the dashboard on the Xbox with my controller could have also just went straight to it but since this is taking a little bit longer uh, you can see that we're back on the dashboard and smart glass shows that we are getting on the dashboard see let's tap this there you go let's see get for Xbox 360 connecting to smart glass again we're back in there And then it says if you know how I typed I typed in get for, get on Xbox 360, it's actually going to launch it straight directly. You can tap the Men in Black 3 thing, tap it, and then this is the 10 minute preview. You can see how far you are in the preview. So you can see I'm 14, 15 seconds in it. You can just hit this pause button to pause it. Play button to play. If you want to scrub and go further up. You can do that. It gets exactly to the part that I wanted to, and it does. It works perfectly. Uh, Smart Glass works exactly how they say it. It's pretty simple. It takes a little bit long depending on your computer. Like mine is pretty old. So now that we're on Xbox Smart Glass, uh, yeah, it does essentially. It works the same way for everything towards games and everything. So whatever you're looking for, you can just find it on here. So you can hit search for Minecraft. It'll search for Minecraft wait for it to search up obviously there's no videos for minecraft because it's a video game now when you click games it shows it on the game store and if i want to click on it 
I can click on it. Play on Xbox. You just tap that and it brings up the Minecraft page on the Xbox. And it, it says, do I want to purchase it? I don't actually want to purchase it, so I'm not going to. But if I wanted to, I could have, and it would have launched it the same way it does it with Halo 4. If I want to get a game demo, I could get that too. The Minecraft game demo tells you the last time you got it. And yeah, essentially this is Xbox Smart Glass. It works exactly how they say it is. It's a little jittery, and uh, as you could, as you saw before, but it, it works the same way. And I'm going to just click on other remotes. And actually, this is the last good feature that they have. Those of you who pre-ordered Halo 4 or pre-ordered any game, and you've gotten uh, those little uh, those little codes to type in to redeem codes to get little uh, incentives on the game. The most annoying thing that you could ever have is using the controller's keyboard, this on-screen keyboard, to to play the game, to uh, type in the code, because it takes forever. Especially Halo 4, I remember I had to type in like like seven codes, and it took forever, or eight, eight or nine codes. I'm not sure exactly. It was a lot. But with this, you can just use your computer keyboard, or since this is already since this is up here, you can use the on-screen keyboard. See the Xbox typed it in. I can backspace, or I can just use my computer's laptop keyboard and just type in, you know, or whatever it is. You can type in numbers, and it knows exactly to put the um the dashes in the right spot and everything. And you can just when you're ready, you just hit enter. Obviously, this isn't a real code, but essentially it does the same thing. And this is a quick test of that. Press B, and then if you want to press B again, you can do that. So essentially this works pretty well. Like if you wanted a quick thing, you didn't want it to use an extra keyboard or an extra device uh to to play use your smart glass. You didn't you didn't want it, you wanted to just have something that you already normally have next to you to uh enhance your Xbox live experience, you can do that now. This has been Quaku from Next Gen Windows, and this has been Xbox Smart Glass, a re-review of Xbox Smart Glass. Uh, if you want any comment, if you have any comments or suggestions for the next videos I should do, uh, leave them below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.